Hey, what's going on? My name is Chris Miller, and in this video tutorial, we're going to continue the theme development series by exploring ACF Pro. And I'm pretty excited about this because we're going to start to take a look at some of the fields that are available to us in ACF Pro. And if I really want to be correct here, this is not necessarily exclusive to theme development. Uh, this can be used in plugin development too. Um, so uh, what we're going to focus on is we're going to uh, take a look at the repeater field, which is really cool. And in a future video, we're going to take, it to look, uh, take a look at the flex content field. So in true ad lib fashion, let's get started by opening up the code editor and see what we have going on. All right, so uh, we're gonna hit the uh, finder icon there, go to at public, and we're gonna go to WP content themes. And we've been for this series working in the 2021 theme that we stripped down and removed a bunch of files and stuff. Uh, so if you haven't checked that out, go flip back to that video. And let's go to the, let's get rid of you. Uh, all right, index.php, let's clean this up. Let's get rid of that. Uh, we'll get rid of this too. Actually, we're gonna get rid of all this. We're gonna get rid of that. We're gonna get rid of that. All right, we just want the header and the footer. Great. Okay, now, uh, back here. Uh, you will need to purchase ACF Pro, which is an amazing plugin. I highly recommend purchasing it. I'm not being endorsed uh, by them, but uh, but it is a great plugin. And then so uh, once it's installed and activated, if you come down to custom fields, uh, your screen will be blank. But in our previous tutorials, we created some fields here. I'm going to go ahead and use the, the pages. Um, Filled group that we created already and remove these. We don't want them. And we're going to start with a blank slate. Now, uh, what we can do is we can click on add field. And before I give this a name, I do want to point out here the field type. You now will see a set of fields down below that were not previously available to us. And the one we're going to be focusing on in this video is the repeater field. So we'll click on that. Now, what is the repeater field and what is it meant to do? The way I like to think about the repeater field is if you had maybe like a, a team, like a sports team, and you needed a roster of people, say like 10 people, and you needed a field for first name and maybe last name and maybe the position that they play, um, the repeater field would be really good for that. Um, another thing that the repeater field can be really good for uh, maybe is like the accordions um, that you often see on sites whenever you have like a title and you can click to expand the accordion and reveal more information. And I think maybe that's a good a good one to use for this video. So let's, let's go with that. Let's say uh, accordion. All right. And uh, that is our field label and our field name as well. We'll scroll down. And then now we see this new section called subfields. The subfields uh, will be a set of ACF fields that you choose. And every time, uh, whenever you use the repeater and you say add new, add new, add new, it's going to produce the same set of subfields. If some of this doesn't make sense yet, it will, trust me, whenever we go and take a look at this in action. So, um, subfields, we'll click Add Field, and we'll say Title. So, we need a title to our accordion, and we're going to leave that as a regular text field. Go ahead and click to close that. And then we're going to add another field, and we're going to call this um, Content. And we're going to click Edit to collapse and close that as well. It's a little shortcut there. So um, that's it. Now we're going to scroll down and we're going to say at minimum, I always like to use one. So at minimum, there's going to be one. Uh, and then at max, we're just going to keep it blank. Uh, we're going to let uh, them add as many rows as they want uh, for this repeater. And for the button label, we're going to say add accordion. All right. 
That's it. We're going to scroll to the top and click update. And now if we go to our pages and we click add new, we can now see that we have this accordion here and you can see where it has content. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can't talk anymore. Title and content. And then so if we click uh, add accordion, add accordion, add accordion, we keep adding row, 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 row. Now, already, there's some changes I want to make here. I do not want the content sitting next to the title, and I want the space for the content to be bigger because I expect people to maybe post uh, or paste a couple of paragraphs in there. So what we'll do is we'll flip back to custom uh, fields, and we're going to click on pages, expand the accordion there, click on content, and we're going to change this from a text field to be a... Uh, a WYSIWYG editor. We're going to let them put anything that they want inside that space. We're going to close that and scroll down. And we're going to change the layout of that. We, again, do not want the title and the content sitting next to one another. So we're going to choose either content. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> again, I can't talk. We're going to choose uh, block or row. Uh, both of those are going to give us the stacking that we want. Uh, so let's just go with block for now. We're going to click update, go back to pages, add new. And then now if we scroll down, we can see that we have our title here. So we'll say accordion one. And then let's get our uh, handy dandy placeholder text there. Yep. Let's copy that. Paste, paste, good enough, publish. All right, I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. Well, I guess that's not really going to help. Eh, zoom out a lot. Yeah, so you can see here that uh, this bar on the left-hand side, you can click and you can drag it. That comes into play here in just a little bit. Um, but this whole little block uh, is one row title content that's going to be used together. If we click, uh, zoom back in here for us. If we click uh, add content, we can paste in some more content. We'll call this accordion two. All right. So now we have accordion one and accordion two. If I zoom back out, uh, you can see here that we have a number one. And then down below, we have a number two. And we can click and drag this above the accordion up top. So what's really cool about the repeater field is that if you have many rows, you can click and you can drag and reorder those rows, and that will also reflect on the front end as well. So let's go ahead and change that back and click update. I'm gonna zoom back in again. Okay, but if we check out if we check out the front of the page, we don't see any of that content yet. And that's because we have not used the ACF function to, to display the content on the front end. So uh, what we're going to do in true ad lib style is we're going to look up ACF repeater and we're going to do this all from scratch, which I, I hope isn't going to take very long. I'm scrolling right past this, uh, but I do encourage you to, to take a look at it and read it in your own time. Uh, some really great documentation. They've done a phenomenal job. Elliot, the original, uh, the original creator of ACF phenomenal job and every contributor that's worked with them on that project uh, top notch okay so this is really what I want to look for here the template usage uh, the basic loop okay so this is uh, a, a while loop so if have rows while have rows I'm gonna highlight this if have rows while have rows then it's going to get the sub or the row sorry one more time if have rows, while have rows, the row that sets everything up for us. And then inside of that in this block is where we're going to output the information. Uh, all right. So let's go ahead and copy all this. And uh, let's go back and we're going to open up our PHP tag and paste that right in. And we do need to update the name of our field here and this one is going to be accordion and we need to change that as well so have rows is the same function there so if we do have the accordions while we have accordions 
spit out the row. So give me a row, give me a row, give me a row. It's going to continue to give us all the rows inside of each accordion that we use uh, until there's no more left. All right. Okay. Um, and they added uh, some uh, just a helpful placeholder subfield there, which we're going to hang on to. And we're going to adopt or adapt it to say title. And we'll say title there. And let's copy and paste that. And we're going to say content. And we're going to say content. Okay. Now, the do something part. Okay. So we're, we're loading the subfield value here. Now we're about to do something. So let's drop below. And let's just simply echo the title for now. So we're going to echo the title. I just hit the save and do a refresh. And sure enough, we have accordion one and accordion two. Let's go back. And um, more than just an echo, what we're going to do is we'll say H2. If I can type, I cannot type. And we'll concatenate that variable. Hit refresh and great. We have an accordion one and accordion two uh, as H2s. And now let's go ahead and uh, include let me just copy this line there and just say a paragraph. Actually, I take that back. I'm not going to do a paragraph because we're using the WYSIWYG editor and that's going to uh, output uh, HTML for us already. So we're just going to echo out content. Boom. There you go. Cool, right? And this is so powerful. You can get really creative with the repeater field and, and use it for all sorts of things whenever you need to repeat data or sets of data like we're doing here. Now, obviously, on a front-end perspective, these accordions will not work. Uh, you would have to write out some CSS uh, and some JavaScript to, to make it possible. Uh, but, yeah, cool, right? Hopefully, you found value in this video. If you did, could please hit the subscribe button below. If you have any recommendations or suggestions, drop it in the comment section below as well. And if you're on Twitter, find me at Miller T. Chris. Come back and check out some of the other videos. And we're going to do some other cool stuff.